much coming off the line as well. Yeah, That's probably a key observation they, yeah. so far. Not scared to uh, come out and get involved, which is great. Yeah, another instance of that there for Surbiton's Joyce. Oh, it bounces over her head that time, and it's in! Wow, well, it's been unbelievable how it's ended up in the back of the net, but it has for Thomas Telford's score. And they won't mind how it's ended up in, it's just the fact it has for them. 1-0. Yeah, a little throw in, I was just trying to see how it actually came. So yeah, just a little punt on from Hannah Lavelle. Yeah, big bounce. I guess I was saying earlier, although it's you know, nice and positive that the keeper's coming off a line, she's got to be careful not to get caught out. And I certainly didn't think she'd get caught out from now. It was only a half an hour on the clock. It's Thomas Telford who lead by a goal to nil. Elliot again forward into the channel, and the goalkeeper's come a long way from home at the other end this time. Is it going to roll in? It's cleared off the line. Wonderful piece of defending when Thomas Telford badly needed it most and Ava Bello back there has really come up big with that goal line clearance for her team. Yeah, it was a great clearance. Look at him, she's holding her heart from uh... the Thomas Telford team today. Chance here for Surbiton down the other end. It's against the outside of the post, still there for a rebound effort. And again for another bite at it, cleared off the line once more. Elliot now forces her way through and serve it to the back level. It's Spearchix Elliot who comes up with the goods with the equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, good finish there from Beatrix Elliot. Good perseverance from Surbiton. Some great initial saves from Clark in goal for Thomas Telford. Some good blocks on the line, but. Great finish there from Elliot. She manages to creep it through, keeps a shot down, body over the ball. And luckily it finds its way through. After conceding in a strange sort of way. Back locked level with Thomas Telford now after the Beatrix Elliot equaliser that we've just seen. All of the games that have gone before this today have thrown up at least four goals. There's a chance there for Surbiton. Another opportunity as they try to work the shooting chance from Elliot again at the edge of the box. But really beginning to turn the screw and knock on the door of Thomas Telford as we'll show you again on the replay. Just how close this was for them. He can. Throwing is going to be overturned. through but it didn't make it inside the penalty area hence the clearance away rather than use of the hands from the goalkeeper at the other end it does go through but all the way through and the offside flags up it's not going to count it's not going to count if the referee's going to see the linesman he's well he's waved the flag he definitely waved the flag Keris and he's put it back down maybe it will count wow controversy Surbiton seem to think it counts 2-1 seems like it the referee's not paying any attention to his assistant I'm not sure what the offside was given for in the first play I don't know from that replay I couldn't quite tell I if thought she was to offside with or not Sophia Kuhn may have been in an offside position as the initial ball was played through that replay doesn't show it Kuhn puts it in for the Had a, a positive spell in this second half, Thomas Telford, but without really creating too many chances. They've got to defend this one, though. It's Warren bearing down a goal here. Charlie Warren, good save from the goalkeeper. Back on the follow-up, and it curls wide. Could so easily have been 3-1, but an excellent stop again from Sarah Clark in the Thomas Telford goal. Well, that was going to be commentator's curse for a moment then. You were just <laughs> talking about how well Thomas Telford were doing to get back in it, and then I thought Charlie Warren was going to... into the final five minutes of the 70 now aren't we you'd expect there to be some time added on at the end of the 70 but see how much that is here's Warren breaking free of the defense playing it across and it's in for another one for Surbiton surely now that's got to be that lovely Surbiton goal 
And you feel now they are now just minutes away from getting their hands on the trophy. 3-1. Yeah, great finish there by Amelie Smith. I thought initially it was going to be a penalty. I think the defender did take Charlie Warren down there. She was doing her best to try and get back, but tripped her. But luckily for Surbiton, the ball fell straight to Amelie Smith. It was a great finish. She hit it first time and drilled it right into the back of the net. I think, yeah, that's game over now. I think good win for Surbiton. 3 1 up. I think that sealed the deal. Yeah, it certainly feels that way, doesn't it? After the Thomas Talbot chant. That's it, there's the full-time whistle. Surbiton celebrates. Big congratulations to them on the job that Zach El Becri's done in charge of them. Commiserations, of course, to Thomas Telford's school, but the performance from Surbiton, certainly deserving of the, the victory here today, Keris. Martha Child takes the trophy, lifts it high for Surbiton High School. A big congratulations once more to Surbiton, who've won the 2024 9v9 format under 15 PlayStation Schools Cup competition for the girls' B teams. Congratulations to Surbiton and commiserations again to Thomas Telford, but they very much played their part today. And stick around now as well because we'll shortly head down to Dave Waldridge for some post-match reaction. He'll grab a word or two with the two team managers. So I'm here with Mrs. Price from Thomas Telford. Dominant performances throughout the tournament all the way to the final. What an achievement to even be here at the Hawthorns. Yeah, it's a fantastic achievement. Obviously, the first time this competition's run, so to get to the final, we're you know incredibly proud of our girls. But today wasn't our day, and unfortunately, you know, we someone's got to come out the loser after the competition. So uh, yeah, but we've got, you know, we're, we're so proud of them all. Absolutely, and I think that proudness goes through the school. I saw, um, I believe, the head teacher coming onto the pitch and telling the girls an amazing job they've done. Just how much community is built in the school on the back of those ladies' backs. Yeah, these girls come training every Monday night, so for them to have the opportunity of a National Cup competition this year is unbelievable. So we're really grateful for that as well. And yeah, the head's proud, the school's proud, their families, guardians, parents, everyone's proud of them. Um, even though, unfortunately, it wasn't our day today. Well, Mrs. Price, I'll let you go one more time there. Let's hear it for Thomas Telford School. So I'm here with Coach Zach, your team scoring 18 goals on the way to the final. Three here this afternoon as well. They now have to find the back of the net. Oh, brilliant, brilliant game. Um, yeah, goal scorers in our, in our team. Um, yeah, they're brilliant. And this is it, they really showed their maturity in that final as well. You must be really proud to have influenced the team in that way. Oh, definitely, yeah, very proud of every single one of them. Um, they've been fantastic throughout the season, so this is well deserved uh, for the group. And of course, Coach Zach, it's your third final of the day and it has to be mentioned. I think your fan base were outmatched 10 to 1, but they made just as much noise. You've got to hand it to the fans, they've been incredible all day long with us. They were brilliant. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. Thank you. Well, ladies and gents, one more time, let's hear it for Surbiton High School. 